هلو اي ام دكتور وفاء بدوي السينيا كونسلتنت هيستو باثولوجيست اند هيد اوف باثولوجي ديبارتمنت اي كي ام اي سي اتش كي اس اي اي ال بي توكينج اباوت سكس كورد ستروماتيك تومرز اوف ذا اوفري سورتولي ليديك سيل تومر General background. Sertoli Leydig cell tumors are uncommon tumors, accounting for less than 0.5% of all ovarian neoplasms. These tumors outnumber both pure Sertoli cell tumors and pure Leydig cell tumors. Sertoli Leydig cell tumors typically occur in reproductive age women. Average 25 years. Approximately half of patients have non-specific symptoms, including abdominal swelling, pain, virilization. It develops in only about one third of the cases. Estrogenic manifestations occasionally. Mildly elevated serum levels of alpha fetoprotein. Hot spot mutations in the DISA-1 gene have been identified in 62% to 80% of certain Leydig cell tumors. Mutations can be somatic more frequently or germline in the context of DISA-1 syndrome. DISA-1 syndrome includes certain Leydig cell tumor, cystic nephroma, multinodular goiter. DISA-1 mutations appear to be exclusive of intermediately and poorly differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumors with or without retiform or heterologous elements. Other two molecular subtypes include FOXL2C mutant. It occurs in postmenopausal patients. It shows moderately or Poorly differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumors with no retiform or heterologous elements. DISA 1 Fox L2 wild type. It occurs in intermediate age. It shows well differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumors with no retiform or heterologous elements. Radiology. Ultrasound, pelvic, CT, or MRI can show a solid or solid and cystic adnexal mass. In this photo, CT scan abdomen shows a large multicystic lesion. Post-surgery, CT scan abdomen shows no residual tumor recurrence. Gross appearance. The vast majority of Sertoli-Leydig cell tumors are unilateral, with only 2% being bilateral. They typically have a solid yellow to tan lobulated cut surface with a focal cyst formation. Retiform Sertoli-Leydig cell tumor and Sertoli-Leydig cell tumor with heterologous Mucinous elements are more commonly cystic. Sertoli Leydig cell tumor with mucinous heterologous elements. The section surface of the tumor is mostly mucoid with a minor solid yellow component. Microscopic features. Sertoli Leydig cell tumors are classified into five major histologic categories due to important clinical and pathologic differences. These categories include well-differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumor, approximately 10%. It is also called tubular androplastoma. Moderately, intermediately differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumor. It is most common. Poorly differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumor. Sertoli Leydig cell tumor with a retiform pattern, 10% to 15%. Sertoli Leydig cell tumor with a retiform pattern, 10% to 15%.
Sertoriolytic cell tumor with heterologous elements. Well differentiated Sertoriolytic cell tumors. They are very uncommon benign tumors occurring in women with a mean age in the mid 30s. They are composed of variably sized but often small and round solid or hollow tubules lined by cuboidal two columnar Sertoli cells. The intervening stroma contains variable numbers of Leydig cells, ranking crystals present in 20% and abundant. Some tumors in this group have a coarse architectural arrangement in two cellular and acellular sclerotic areas reminiscent of the nodular or pseudonodular pattern of sclerosing stromal tumors. Aggregates of Leydig cells are seen on the left in this photo and certainly cell tubules on the right. This image shows prominent edematous areas with widely separated Sertoli cell tubules. Well differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumors. They are composed of variably sized tubules, often small and round solid and hollow tubules. They are lined by cuboidal to columnar Sertoli cells. The intervening stroma contains variable numbers of Leydig cells. This photo shows pseudo-endometrial tubules. Moderately intermediately differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumor. It is the most common category. Tubules are predominantly solid and occasionally complex. Rare halo tubules are seen. Moderately differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumor. This photo shows a jumbled admixture of Sertoli and Leydig cells and focal tubules. Cellular lobules of nests and cords of immature Sertoli cells are intersected by a slightly edematous stromal component containing clusters of Leydig cells. Sertoli Leydig cell tumor of intermediate differentiation alveolar pattern seen in this photo. Poorly differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumors. They could show fine trabecular areas simulating patterns seen in granulosa cell tumors, solid area of cords of immature Sertoli cells with rounded nuclei and clear or vacuolated cytoplasm, sarcoma-like area of indifferent spindle cells showing conspicuous mitotic activity and some vague suggestion of biphasic cell differentiation. Please note that moderately and poorly differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumors, they are part of a histologic continuum and frequently particular tumors will show poor differentiation in one area and moderate differentiation in another. The Sertoli and Leydig cells may vary independently in their degree of maturity or differentiation. Sertoli Leydig cell tumor with retiform pattern. It is seen in 14% of moderately and 30% of poorly differentiated ovarian Sertoli Leydig cell tumors. They exhibit retiform foci, so-called 
because of a resemblance to the reti testis. The branching and angular slit-like tubular spaces contain small papillary processes with hyalinized connective tissue cores. Cuboidal epithelial hop nail like lined irregularly shaped retiform spaces. This image shows prominent papillae. Sortoli Leydig cell tumor with microcystic pattern. These images show sieve like area with cystic spaces lined by flattened or cuboidal hobnail like cells. Aggregates of Leydig cells are seen between the cystic spaces. Sortoli Leydig cell tumor with heterologous elements. It is seen in about 20% of Sertoli Leydig cell tumors. They could show enteric type epithelium, cystic spaces containing eosinophilic mucinous material and lined by mucinous columnar cells. The mucinous epithelium in these tumors is usually benign but may be malignant. Pernal Immature fetal cartilaginous islands. In this photo, we see two circumscribed nodules of cartilage adjacent to a sarcoma like area. Rhabdomyoplasts with strap like eosinophilic cytoplasm. Clusters and cords of carcinoid cells. Rarely hepatic differentiation or foci of neuroblastoma. Metastatic deposit of well-differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumor in omentum. Not central aggregates of typical Leydig cells or mental fats. Immunohistochemistry. Sertoli Leydig cell tumors show positivity for sexy cord stromal tumor markers, including FOXL2, it is also called fork head box protein L2, SF1, steroidogenic factor 1, inhibin alpha, carretinin, strong to weak CAM 5.2, CDX2, in the intestinal type glands, it is a heterologous element. Prognosis and therapy. Prognosis for patients with sortolytic cell tumor is generally good, as approximately 80% have stage 1A tumors at the time of diagnosis. Well differentiated Sertoli Leydig cell tumors are clinically benign. Intermediately differentiated tumors have a slightly higher risk of malignant behavior. 12% of all Sertoli Leydig cell tumors are clinically malignant. Therapy usually consists of salvinjo or ophorectomy with consideration of Chemotherapy for patients with poorly differentiated tumors, ruptured intermediate differentiated tumors, unusual variants, conservative fertility sparing surgery, that is unilateral salvinjo or ophrectomy, and staging procedure is usually performed in young patients with stage 1 tumors. Early recurrences may occur and are more often confined to the pelvis and abdomen. These are the references. Thank you.